<laughs> Hello and welcome to What's for Dinner. Every day we make right on meals in about half an hour or so. And today is a very special day. I'm Mary Jo Eustace and I've got one of half of one of my favorite bands in the whole wide world. I do. Yes, Moxie Fruvis, David uh, Murray, all right team. It's great to be here, yes, Mary Jo. Yes, Are you excited? Great. We've been yeah. looking forward to this. On the road, all we talk about is when we get to go on What's for Dinner. And do your pork. And do That's right. the pork. And you got very upset with me because I didn't have your pork. Well, we have a different kind of pork. But I went to the supermarket and I got some special type of pork and we're going to stuff them up real good. Excellent. Good. And you good. wrote a song in tribute to my pork? I don't want to get personal, but yeah. you did, didn't you? <laughs> there, there are um, many uh, men and women gave their lives that we could eat pork today. Oh, so we're going to be heavy because I can't do it. It's going to be honest, Mary Jo, and oh. I think that's what we need is honesty. Do you think that's what we need regarding pork? Yes, yes. indeed, yes. You two are freaks. Now what I'm doing, I've got a Baja lime pasta that I'm going to do to accompany their pork, and Dave and Murray are going to really walk me through this pork, right? We're going to do it together. <laughs> it's going to be a, jo a, jo a joint effort. Threesome, baby. <laughs> are you up for it? I, I, in a I, big way. Okay, <laughs> when we get back from the break here on What's for Dinner, we're talking pork. We're talking Moxie Fruvis. See you in a minute. This is Life Network. Hit the million in a drop of dead suit. Touch the pink on a downtown train. Two dollar pistol, but the gun won't shoot. I'm in the corner in the pouring rain. Oh, yeah. oh hello, and welcome hello. back to What's for Dinner. Hello. I've got my two favorite dudes on big, huge Canadian music stars, Dave and Murray from Moxie Fruvis. And we were just listening to one of your new songs. From That's our right. live album. Which is? Which is called Live Noise. There live it is right Noise. There. Let me get a nice shot of it. And that's available in stores as we speak. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what was that song we just heard? That was Jockey Full of Bourbon, a Tom Waits cover. Oh my gosh, I really liked it. Yeah, yeah. Did you really like it? It was really moving. Yeah, it was, it was, it was really... a Samba thing. Did you notice? Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. shaking yeah. it. Oh, it yeah. felt good. Yeah. It felt yeah. nice, you yeah, know? Yeah. Oh, that's one thing you've got to do What's that? during the show. Mm. Okay, we don't have to do it right off the top, okay. but you've got to tell the Lieutenant Stitchy story because I use it all the time <laughs> now. Really? It's become a staple here on What's oh, for Dinner. Oh, do you know the Lieutenant Stitchy no, story? No, no. Do you want to tell it now? I don't well, know. Well, okay. Uh, okay. What, what? Lieutenant Stitchy was on a reggae guy who was on uh, on the radio, and the uh, this is a, a Rastafarian uh, man, and was asked a question by a very long-winded question. <laughs> Lieutenant Stitchy, how do you feel about the situation in Kingston today and the state of reggae music and your political impact on the whole reggae uh, field and, 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 and thing that's going on there? And there was about 15 seconds of dead air. <laughs> it was just dead. And then he goes, nice, you know? <laughs> I love that. Uh, it sums everything up. It's just like, you know, you don't want to take the trouble to yeah, answer, That's right. Do you? And that's our attitude here, too. I love that. It is. Mm -hmm. That got me going. I got to tell you. Nice, you know? N it's nice, you know? Nice, you know? <laughs> now, uh, uh, you guys are um, going to help me out. You're um, dicing right now We're for doing, me. Yeah. It's very crude dice. Yeah, here. no, I like a crude dice. Yeah, okay. For my, uh, my Baja line pasta, what I'm going to do with this action, it's so easy. Oh, guys, I get so out of breath. Are you a little out of breath? Well, being with child. Oh, I can understand. And, and the with dancing. the weight gain, the dancing, the excitement of having you two here, I just, I gotta calm down. Yeah, just take a deep I just, breath. I gotta take calm a, down in the Lieutenant Stitchy story. <laughs> um, it's a big day. It's, it's, it's a big day. I'm gonna be sauteing my chicken and um, with some onion, and then what I'm gonna do is all this stuff, we're gonna put cold into the pasta with some cheese and it's black beans and coriander with my Baja lime pasta. Mm -hmm. Baja lime, I was gonna ask you, Baja lime pasta. Yeah. Is it Baja the spot? The, yeah, the mm, spot. The really? geographical the spot. The, the spot. geographical right. spot okay. that I was in. You, you went to the Baja? Remember I went to the Baja and I adopted Sofia. Of course. My little Mexican mutt. That's right. Mm, Remember yeah. that? I do. Now, we're doing pork uh, today in a tribute to Dave a bit because you've had a lot of really bad home dates, haven't you, making pork for chicks that just went sour. Is it showing his face? Honey, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't think you were aware of that. Well, I, you, I, you always sort of tell me. I do enjoy cooking the pork tenderloin. Mm -hmm. for, you know. for, for girls that you have to your house. Well, sometimes. And right. sure. on his own. It's, uh, oh, it's an honest love of the, of the loin. Every you know? time I'm over there, he's got like a pork tenderloin in his fridge. It's always and a chick. Uh, I've never seen a chick oh. there, to be quite frank with you. <laughs> Daver? You've been there a couple times. I've been there. Are you still single or what's the story? Oh, yeah. Murray? 
Uh, I'm uh, not single, actually. Recently you always not single. have a girlfriend. No, well, you know, not really. You it's, must it's have something thing. to offer. That's all I'm going to say. I think we should move on. You think topic? so? Yeah. Oh, okay. Look yeah. at nice dicing, guys. Very nice dicing, yeah. and you dice that for me. Now, okay, what we're going to do with your pork is we're going to cut it in half, right? All right, yeah, yeah. Is that good? Because I know... I, I think cut it in half, make a sleeve out of it is what... For, right. stu for the stuffing. Right. The better to stuff the pork. Uh, to stuff it up yeah. real good. Yeah. A pouch. A little pouch. And then we've got some onions and some apricots, and we're going to stuff mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. It is good. Oh, is it okay. apricot or apricot? apricot? Oh, jeez. Oh, tomato, tomato. Yeah. I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> Let's what do you, call what the do whole thing off. What do you say? I, say? I think the apricot's the most exciting part of the... Of Thank the you. That was my yeah. idea. It's excellent. Quite frankly. You know what? I just don't have the confidence of a master dicer. I feel a little bit awkward dicing here. Do Your I hands really? are shaking. My too. hands are shaking. I'm a novice dicer, and now everybody in the whole wide world knows. You are doing such a bang-up job, sir. Is is this enough onion, do you think, Mary? Uh, no, it's not, Dave. Well, you, you, we, you need more of that? I got, you got to keep working. You're going pretty oh, slow. Geez, do you want me to butterfly your pork? I know it's personal. Please, go ahead okay, and butterfly the pork. Do you want to butterfly some no, pork, I, Mary? No, I don't think I should. Okay, can you chop a pepper for yes, me, sir? Yes, yes. Now, talk about your band. What's going on with the Moxie Fruvis thing? Oh, Moxie Fruvis is uh, touring and playing and just selling loads and loads and loads of records down in the U.S. of A. these days oh, and really? right here at home in Canada. Are you doing well? Because I never hear of you guys on there. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, I'm teasing you. you I, you've hurt me. I'm sorry. I can't go on. Can we, can we cut, please? Can we just cut? Hang on. Yeah, we're not going to use this one. No, <laughs> no. I've known Dave for a long time. I like to tease you up big time. But uh -huh. no, you guys are very successful yep. in the States. Doing very well down there. Yeah. Coming back here to uh, do cooking shows. I know. You must have hit the big time if you're on this show. <laughs> That's right. Well, you know, people get you down there, too. I guess you know that, right? Do they really? I'm pretty sure. I have met American fans who have said, oh, yeah, I've seen that show. You lie. Mary, Mary Jo again. <laughs> I'm not it lying. goes as far as the border. Who Does you get it? Really? Yeah. No, we'd love to be in the States, so. Oh. So would that be a dream to hit it big in the States or not so much? Or? Sure it would. Sure, it'd be great. I mean, we're out there doing it. We may as well get rich at it, right? Man, you guys yeah. work so hard. You do all the festivals. Yeah, mm -hmm. we do a lot of folk mm -hmm. festivals and yeah. music festivals. And can you explain about that whole, this, this gives me a good chuckle, uh, about uh, the Fruvis points? The, you're right, the Fruhead Miles. We, uh, yeah. we reward fans for uh, their dutiful uh, pursuit of the band, and uh, you get 100 points per show, and then you trade that in for uh, fri <laughs> get some prizes. Get you some know? prizes, right? Like, like a catching glove or a bicycle, you know? No. Right. Just little, little tricks and trinkets. What's the so. best prize you can win, um, truthfully? Uh, you can get, uh, if you get 50 points, like yeah. that's 50 shows, oh my you, get, God. you get a custom made brand. Heated and you, one of the Fruvis boys will brand you on the ass with our logo. Oh, no, that sounds right kind of nice. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's the big grand prize. See, I'd stop at 49 shows if that was the big grand prize. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You might, you, might, you might be so hooked you need to come to the 50th. If I, you love the band enough. <laughs> I've, I've been to one show, okay? Now, <laughs> i got to ask you a question. Uh, Dave, isn't yeah. one of the prizes a date with you? Used to be a date with me. One of the prizes was... Dream uh, date with Dave. Dream date with Dave, but it went so badly. There was such an insurance uh, problem with really? going out for me because you just never know what's going to happen, right? Yeah. So, sense? <laughs> like the fans are going to attack you or something? Oh, or I'm going to attack the fans. It goes both ways. That's you why he has know. the pork tenderloin ready, you know, for those dream dates. Just you in know, case. Puts the pork tenderloin and... I don't know that, uh, to offer yourself up to your fans, because, I, I mean, that's a bit, that, that crosses a line, maybe. It does cross Dave's heart up, though. It really is, <laughs> no you know? No kidding. Now, I've been trying for years, Murray, quite frankly, a little bit. It's a bit. tough set up. He's, you know why? He's very complex, yes. and he's very needy. He's got, <laughs> he's got a lot of needs, don't you think? As a man, I don't see that, but I'll take your word on it. As a woman, I do. Now, I've got a trivia question for my good friends, Murray and Dave. They make me ask these lame trivia questions. Oh, go ahead. You're going to get this so big time. Is uh -huh. it cooking? No, it's music. Music? Okay, it was on my card, i got to ask. Right. Katrina and the Waves had a big hit oh, with this song. <laughs> oh, boy. Can you believe I'm asking this? I can't believe it. What was the song? We get back from the break on what's for dinner. The Fruvis boys are so gonna get this. We're stuffing pork. I, I, I pocketed the pork. Welcome back to Pork Tenderloin Day here on What's for Dinner. We're having a lazy, hazy pork day with my friends Dave and Murray from Oxy Fruvis. Absolutely wrote a special song for the occasion, didn't you guys? We, we did. sure did, yeah, but we wanted to play it for Ken. Where's Ken? Yeah, oh. where's Ken? Where is Ken? Oh. What have you done with Ken? Oh, it's a sore point. Is it? No, he's actually at the airport picking his mother up in her pierogies. So oh. 
It's just the three of us right on. Cool. Yeah. Okay. You gonna perform? Yes. Oh, would you like to hear a song? Can you hear the, the I'd song? Like yeah. to hear it. This is a tribute to the, the men and women who have given their lives so that we can eat the pork tenderloin. Yes. Oh. It's called the Hunt for the Dangerous Pork Tenderloin. Wow. Right on. One, two, three, go, two, three. <laughs> family was gone. Pork tenderloin. Woo! Those boys are out of rock, don't they? Come on back, boys. Whoa. Oh, right on. You know your pork. Oh, yeah. It'd help if we knew our song. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. Thank you for that tribute to pork. I feel it was a bit of a tribute to me. Yeah, well, you can think of it as well. I can think of it however that's, I want. That's something Dame Edna would say. I love pork. There, I've said it on national TV. Do you like pork? I do. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. That was hilarious. Well, thank you. We wrote it especially for the show. Mm -hmm. you know? Did you really? Yeah. Well, we were a little rusty on the lyrics. Oh, it just sounded totally excellent. Well, thank do you, you feel like doing some cooking? I Let's think do we some should cooking. <laughs> What's for dinner? After you've done some singing, mm -hmm. um, you can cut, cut me up some avocado, sure. real nice, and a tomato. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm doing? Well, because I care about this show. Hello. I'm going to get started on your second. Okay. I've got your your uh, your onion started. You've browned the onions a little. Is that is that correct? That's so right. And you asked for rice, so you I got should, it. Yeah, we got uh, it. On this right. show, so you that's ask, that's you get what you need. Get. Excellent. Coriander, apricots, the whole thing. Maybe you want to chop the apricots. Chop okay. up the cots here. Yeah, mm -hmm. David, you're sweating. You work so hard. Well, it's tough, you know. The, they they think the life of the musician is all roses and groupies and you know riders and. Is it not? <laughs> beer backstage. It is, but uh, you know. It's tough work. <laughs> it is, but it still makes you sweat. Do you meet a lot of chicks on the road? Like, can I ask you that question? Are we back to chicks already? Can well, we just, just cook a meal? I'm, uh -huh. Really? <laughs> You're giving me some attitudinal? No, I'm just curious. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, men and women. Really? Yeah, yeah. Lots of romances? Oh, 
Time? No. It's, a, it's a regular harlequin every time we leave Toronto. <laughs> Lots of pork tenderloin? Oh. <laughs> Lots of excitement for you two. Mm -hmm. it, there really is. It's tough to find a good pork tenderloin on the road. It is, so what do you do? What do you eat? A wiener? <laughs> well, usually, they, <laughs> usually they've been pushed over to the shoulder, so you oh. have to stop and get out. <laughs> a little roadkill? <laughs> now I'm just reaming my food in case anybody cares. I'm putting some lime juice on my already poached chicken, and mm. this is going to be part of my uh, pasta. Mm. For the Baja lime pasta? Yeah. Excellent. Do you support that? I do. Mm -hmm. It's a funny sounding thing, Baja Lime Pasta. Why is it? Is it pretentious? No, I don't <laughs> think so. I don't think so. Baja Lime Pasta. Did you learn that in Baja? No. Oh. No, I ripped it off of a That's restaurant a... that oh. I heard. Oh, do I have to do a tip of the day with my friends here? Oh. The pressure, man. What's the tip of the day today? Well, okay, when you're chopping jalapeno peppers, don't touch your body. Don't touch things on your body. It's mm -hmm. not a good idea. <laughs> it's going to burn up real good. Excellent. Okay, there's my tip of the day. A bit right. lame -o. You think? Then don't put well, to don't put put toothpaste on a burn. Some people think you should put toothpaste <laughs> on a burn. That's a mistake. That's right. It wouldn't be <laughs> wise. Wouldn't be well advised. Is that what your mother told you? Yeah, that's what they told. Me. Now, did we wash these apricots? They or? were washed. They were okay. By a little kitchen virgin. That's uh. Dave. Yes. <laughs> Quite frantic. Now, what's what's in store for you guys? Talk to me. Oh. Well, we have uh, it's touring, more touring, more touring. Yep, supporting the new album. We're in in the states, uh, in the states. a lot. We're in uh, Canada in the fall. Okay, we this do, is a new album. We go out west uh, yeah. to uh, Vancouver, right? And Calgary, Edmonton, Winnipeg. Well, man. In the fall, so, yeah. And then off the road, I guess in the in the winter and uh, writing a new album, Making writing a rock and new album. Are you album. guys doing another album together? Well, of course. We are. We're we're already on our fifth. Album. Fifth this release. is our fifth release. Really? It seems just like yesterday when we were just busking in the corner just of fresh faced little kids. Are you sure hardened were. to the business now? We're Are you bitter, bitter guys? And cynical. Bitter Are you and really? Cynical. Well, look at this kind of opportunity. We're coming on a cooking show for crying out loud. Is this the highlight of your career? It sure is. Not so much. Little marketing opportunity. Well, it's gonna really do wonders for you, trust me. Well, it's a lot of fun because you're my buddy, Mary Jo. How long have we known each other, Daver? I remember meeting you when I was about 14, so that would be a couple of years back. Six, maybe. <laughs> I was 16. So you were the older woman. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. No, we've known each other a long time. Forever. And uh, done some musical stuff, which was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Now, do you guys ever think about uh, doing a solo project? Adding a chick to the band? No, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Like I asked, okay? I didn't ask. But do you ever think of doing stuff on your own? Uh, yeah, we, we sort of... Uh, Dave's produced a few things on his own. I know he has. He uh, produced our friend uh, Jamie Miller. That's yep. right. That's right. Mr. James. Yep. Is he single? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't He's know. He's a cute dude. I've He's got his number cute. if you want it. He's a total cute dude. You yeah. know what? i got to stuff one of these things because I've been talking up a storm. Hold Look on. It. Here's Inter some... Entertain the viewer while okay. I get a spoon. Now uh, we're going to take dancing. Uh, our apricots. Okay, put your apricots. And we have to... Uh, we have to refer to the food as ours, as I understand. That's, that's, part, right. of, that's part of the contract on this stuff. Okay, there you go. I'm going to put that in there. Put them in there. Woo, that looks good. Does yeah, it ever smell good, too? Now, look what I'm doing. I'm stuffing her up real nice. Wow. Stuff it up. Make sure you get some apricot in okay, there. Okay, put some there apricot. There we go. And we're going to tie that up, and we're going to brown it in the oven. All right, team, see you in a minute on what's for dinner. That looks good, don't you think? It does. Oh, I did a good, good job. When he walked into that kitchen And the chef picked up the odor And put down a soldier Dixon He said, make yourself an old boy I just reworked all the riddles Got 20 minutes starting now Create some gourmet riddles Hi, we're back. Uh, the show is What's for Dinner, and uh, this is Dave. I'm Murray from Oxfruvis, Mary Jo Eustace, and Ken is uh, at the airport right with, now. With uh, doing something with pierogies. That's right, <laughs> and, it's, and it's pork day. Picking up his mother. It's total pork day. Now, they're going to make me re-ask you guys this lame trivia. I don't want to. Well, we've been okay. knocking our heads together. Okay. Right. Racking the brains. Okay. We think it is... Um, might as well be walking on the on, sun. On a little bit of sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> might as well be walking on a... You know what? Close enough. Oh. Katrina and the waves are big summer hits, so you know what you win? Mm -hmm. The pork. We hey, do. We can take the pork home. We get to home. take the pork home. Does that sound exciting? Fantastic. Can, you, can you guys grate me a bit of cheese and slice me up a bit of avocado? You got it. We are on it. Now, I've just got my chicken here that I uh, sauteed with some onions and some lime juice. I'm going to put in my pasta and then mix this together with some of that Monterey Jack cheese. Sounds oh. delicious. So mm. it's, you know, a room temperature pasta. It's going to be quite nice. Mm. You can take it home with you. Excellent. If you dare. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, so we'll just give this a bit of a 
Mixeru. No, anything that you guys would like to tell us personally, any uh, information you'd like to share with your fans? Well, You've got I, a big fan base. Yeah, I'd like to say that Dave's love of the pork tenderloin is an honest love. Is it, it really, a good love? it really is, <laughs> really is his dish. Well, Murray and, came, uh, Murray came over the other night, and we did one up on the barbecue, which yeah. you can do. Is and it, it turned nice? out very well. Uh huh. Very well. Is it it was nice very one? nice. And uh, other than that, we're touring away and. Uh, and Ooh. making great music, really yeah. worthy of buying. It's a really good record it's, it's, to buy. Maybe live we should noise. put up some cash for this uh, one. You know, yeah, lay, lay down the bucks. Only yeah. Get live noise. Only if they want to have a great time. Am I going to get a free <laughs> copy or what? You expecting well, a free copy? Well, you always give it to me two years later. Well, it's because I'm always taking care of your dogs for you. We'll swap for the pork tenderloin. Then. Look at your pork tenderloin. I'm oh. sorry. That is pretty nice pork. It is nice. my heart. I am oh, so impressed today. Oh, I'm just going to shut the oven door and wrap up the show with the two most handsome guests I've ever had, the Moxie Fervis boys. Would you like to sing us out? Oh, sure. There's a choir of angels. They're just getting going. And they sing for the ones who have fallen in the hunt for the dangerous, two-timing, backstabbing, nasty, wrong, fork using, horrible, disingenuous, pork tenderloin. We're talking pork. See you next time we watch for dinner. Bye.